Hey everyone, today I will be showing you how to insert hyperlinks on a Mac MS Word. And here is how. Launch Microsoft Word on your Mac. Open the document in which you want to insert a hyperlink or create a new one. Click and drag your mouse cursor to select the text or object such as an image that you want to turn into a hyperlink. Alternatively, you can place the cursor where you want to insert the hyperlink without selecting any text or object. Click on the Insert tab in the menu bar at the top of the screen. This tab contains various options for inserting elements into your document. In the Insert tab, locate the Link button or Hyperlink option or right-click the highlighted text or object or simply place your cursor where you want to insert the link. Click on it to open the Hyperlink dialog box. In the Hyperlink dialog box, enter the URL or web address that you want the hyperlink to point to. Make sure to include the full address including https colon forward slash forward slash or http colon forward slash forward slash if you selected text in step 3 you can choose to enter a different text to display for the hyperlink by default the selected text will be used as a display text for the hyperlink once you have entered the url and if necessary customize the display text click ok to insert the hyperlink into your document after inserting the hyperlink, you can test it by clicking on it while holding the command key on your keyboard. This will simulate clicking on the hyperlink as if the document were viewed in a web browser. Once you are done adding a hyperlink on your document, right-click on it and tap hyperlink. You can view different options like open hyperlink, copy hyperlink, edit hyperlink and more. If you wish to edit or remove the hyperlink, simply right-click on the hyperlink text or object and select edit link or remove link from the context menu by following these steps you can easily insert hyperlinks into your microsoft word documents on your map hyperlinks are useful for adding references linking to websites or creating navigation within your document and that's it i hope this helps and before we end this video please do share like and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching and see you in our next video